guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 6 of season 2 of The Demon Girl Next Door. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't remember who she's voiced by. She it sounds familiar. I'm like, oh, who is that? I know it. I just can't think of it right now. I'm like, mm. Oh, uh, hi, Cody. I didn't mean to call you. Okay, you go lay down. You go lay down, play, do something. I'll see you in two hours. Well, two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, remember, this is still all in your dream. Mm. Momo. Ma'am, no. I know you want to save your girlfriend, but we can't do that. There, there no blood sacrifices. Yet yeah, there's always another way. You got this.
Please tell me, Cole. It's like a weird feeling, baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good job. So basically, if she leaves, Shaman Cole can get sick again. Plus, and she's always with you, Shaman Cole. She gets to see Momo grow up. Something about Momo. Hey, she gonna wake up in a couple of minutes. Don't worry. She be fine. Hmm? What's up? A magical girl fork. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is one walking like a dog? He's a devil for my little yeah. <laughs> Oh, she looks so badass, baby. Yes. Look at them, look at them. Girlfriend! My baby! <laughs> Don't 
darkness page. <laughs> Later. She looks so cute. Oh my god. Stop it. Momo. Oh my god. I'm hungry. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, that's random. So are you going to erase her memory as a niche because of this now? Basically. No, me con. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was because of Momo. <laughs> but of course it's because of Momo's feelings towards Shamiko because she loves her. The girlfriends. All that citrus. <laughs> yeah, because right now she's a little bit dangerous to society, so we need to get rid of her. But it'll be okay. Oh, oh, baby. Cause see, that's the love between these two. I can't. Mm hmm It'll be fine. What if this doesn't work, though? I mean... 
You sure? Oh. <laughs> Poor Momo. Yeah, mm hmm. No. <laughs> I know, I was about to say, like, no, not a vacuum cleaner, baby. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you were together with her, you know, she still gets time with her. No. <laughs> Stop it! They're playing that. <laughs> I do, my baby. <laughs> Why does this feel like the last episode, even though it's not? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 
That's a good girlfriend. Ooh! <laughs> you feel better now? This is a good episode, especially with the fact that you pay, you fucking play the season one opening song. Like, oh my god, as much as I love season two's opening song, season one song just fucking hits and it hits good. And you're like, bruh, it's been a while. Well, how, how long has it been since I heard the season one opening? Probably like maybe two or three weeks because it's on my phone. And so when I'm at work, I normally typically listen to my anime playlist because I'm like, but being at work for five hours kind of sucks. So I'm like, I need something to be stuck in my head so that I can jam. So like, I'm either listening to random openings, either by like Nana Mizuki, Tri Sale, I'll listen to like some Love Live or whatever. But then when this comes on, oh, so freaking good. But I, I'm glad that, you know, we finally found out the mystery of Momo's sister and that, you know, she's inside Shamiko and such. But technically, I mean, since both Shamiko and Momo's sister Sakura are sharing a body, per se, or really her core is inside of Shamiko, I mean, you know, she's still hanging out with Momo. She's still seeing her every single day grow up, and it's, it's just cuter because it's like, oh my god, your girlfriend... Your sister is inside your girlfriend, but you know, hey, you get to hang out with both of them every single day. That's some Kingdom Hearts-ish. I mean, you know what? Yeah. That's some Kingdom Hearts-ish right there. <laughs> also. Demon Momo. Darkness Peach. Oh my god. Baby. Baby. But oh my god. They better. They better. You know it's gonna fucking happen. They're gonna make uh, um, a figure of Darkness Momo. And, and br I'm gonna put some money on that. Put some money on that. Like, cause how? Oh my god. Okay, no. There's this one Shamiko figure that I want really, really bad. It, it's like, there, it's a, some, it's like a, I think it's a swimsuit one. But she looks so cute. And Shamiko is so like, Shamiko and Momo are like my number one best girls of the show so much because every single week it's always with them and you can just relate to both of them but i really want like a figure of each of them both because they're always together and they are a couple even though you know they're not really a couple but we all shift the hell out of these two right so literally amazon has both swimsuit figures i don't know how much they're selling them for but at the same time i kind of want to get them in their as quote unquote magical girl outfits and so if <laughs> A big if, because we know it's going to happen. Y'all better sell that Demon Momo, because I don't have my, my, my card is in my purse right now. I'm really in my backpack. I put it down. I put it down, damn it. Like, shit, I will pay money for that figure. It's going to be a one eight scale, ain't it? And it's going to be about 200, maybe 100, 130, 150 to 200 dollars. 
I'll put it down right fucking now. You want to release it around my birthday? That's okay, too. I can wait until my birthday to buy that damn figure because I've already, like, the last anime figure I bought was <laughs> pretty recently. Um, I brought a figure of my best girl, <laughs> which, because you can't really see it's over there, all the way back there. Um, so this would be my second figure of her. <laughs> And I only pay, I paid like $110 for it, but like I, I bargained with the guy, with the person and they wanted like their starting price to be at 110 and I was like, bro, I'm not paying 110 for this. So I was like 80 and they're like 95 and it was, and it added up to 110 and I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll take that. But yes, I'm happy. She's coming home this weekend and I'm so excited to see her. But yes, like, I mean, I'm glad that we got to see Momo's sister because she was one of those, especially going into season one, where she was an heir of mystery. Like she was talked about, but we never really got to see her. And then, you know, you look at the opening for the first time and you're like, who the fuck is this one right here? And that's Momo. And then this is <laughs> I just need to know who she's voiced act by, who her say you is. So probably before I watch 86, I need to find out that. But I'm really excited to see what is in store for our lovely two girlfriends because, of course, their adventure is not over it in a way. It's kind of just beginning. Also, Momo smiled today. That means, you know, today was a really good day for me. But also seeing Momo smile, that's a... That's a the fucking highlight of today like besides me getting free starbucks but that that's another highlight <laughs> seeing Shami Cole crying over her between that the star the free starbucks and then literally having a conversation with someone about anime and giving them my recommendations and then you know advertising my youtube channel that's always a high for me so yeah but i i, I really enjoyed this episode i'm probably gonna rewatch it again but other than that <laughs> That is my reaction to towards episode 6 of season 2 of The Demon Girl Next Door. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 7. Bye, guys.